everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on our Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today, we're gonna to talk about Android 11 and a couple added features, more specifically to your permissions. So once you update your Samsung phone to Samsung One UI 3.0, which also gives you Android 11, you're also gonna have a few more setting options for your permissions. So for example, let's say that we go inside of Instagram. Now, the best way to do this is that when you use your application, it's gonna ask you if you wanna grant permissions to, let's say your camera, location, microphone, storage. The reasons for all this is if you wanted to open the application and then you wanna take a snapshot, take a picture, or even a video, that is why it's asking for permission to use your camera and microphone. Location is if you wanted to tag any locations you're next to. And storage is if you wanted to you know, upload a picture or video that you already had stored on your phone. So it's not like they're really tracking you. It's mostly like when you use the application, it's trying to ask for permissions to grant access to these things to actually use the application. Now, inside of here, one of the nice things, let's say you go inside of the camera. So usually there's about two options. You have allow only while using the application. You also have another one that's called allow always, which I don't know why you'd want to choose that one. I always suggest uh, choosing allow only while using the application and then obviously deny. Now, this is the new one for Android 11, ask every time. So every single time that you open up Instagram and you wanted to access the camera through the app, it's gonna have to ask you every single time as this new Android 11 feature. So some of you might find that to be very helpful. Some people are a little bit more cautious when it comes down to these different permissions. I'm not really, I'll just keep using this as long as I'm using the application. Uh, the only one I don't choose is uh, um, you know, activate always. Now, inside of here, the next one, which is the second brand new feature, is going to be this one right here. Remove permissions if app isn't used. So when you toggle this on, what's gonna happen is that it's able to protect your data. It's a way that you're able to, uh, if the app is unused for a few months, meaning three months, then the following permissions is all going to be removed. So this one will definitely come in handy for those applications that you don't really use all the time. Maybe let's say that you're in a rural area or you're just somewhere where there's not really a big use for Lyft or Uber or anything like that. Maybe let's see if I find another one. Maybe let's say like DoorDash. Maybe DoorDash was something that you used a few times. You haven't really used it all that often and you probably don't use it for the next few months. Well, once you go inside of permissions, you can see that I've actually already toggled mine on. So this way in three months from now, if I'm not using this application, all these uh, permissions will go away. So we're just gonna go right back inside really quick inside of Instagram just to kind of show you the very first one one more time with in terms of you know uh, using your permissions, you know, uh, asking every time. You're gonna see that it'll work with locations, it's gonna work with your microphone. So you know, a lot of these brand new features as a part of Android 11 is for everything. When it comes down to storage, this is either allows you to have it or deny it. Now, this is just storage that's on your phone uh, because when it comes down to location, microphone, and camera, this is like, you know, you might be using it almost any time that you open the application to upload a video, but you always wanna have access to the storage when it comes to Instagram. I just wanted to kind of point that out real quick. And then right here, simply boom, you just wanted to turn it on. So let's say you go inside of permissions, you tap that on, you're done. Let's say that you find another one, let's say maybe Facebook. Uh, you go right up inside of here. Let's say that you uh, think you might not use it for a few months, turn that on. Boom, it's actually really fast. Um, but yeah, I really like these two brand new additions. What do you guys think? Write a comment below the video if you guys like these two new additions to Android 11 inside of permissions. It just gives you a few more um, options. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got things to stole on my true collective ball. Famous, so, so famous, number one, desirable. Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it. Leave you with the one in the air, that's how I want it.